Clearing itself, it's fair to say, has sort of changed over the past sort of five years. Um, I think when we were going to university, clearing was very much that um, last resort option uh, for people who uh, hadn't quite got the grades that they needed. Um, and I think these days, clearing is much more of a, almost a reflection point uh, where individuals are able just to take a minute, look at what they've got um, and make some decisions about what they want to do. Hmm. So do applicants have to get their grades in order to get a place? Uh, that is uh, the ideal scenario. Um, however, um, it's important to make sure that the young people know um, all universities are looking to confirm places um, and they will do that by every element of the application. It's not just about results. Um, if an individual has uh, got grades that we would determine a something called a near miss, uh, we will be in contact with that uh, individual uh, on results day, uh, usually via an academic, to have that conversation about um, their grades, their intentions with the study, just to make that contextual decision about what we do moving forward. But the ideal scenario is that for everybody, certainly for the for the, the school college leavers, is to get uh, get your grades. But it's mm -hmm. it's really not the end of the world. So, is there a choice in clearing? Yeah, super good question. So, I think off the back of what kind of Sean was saying in terms of how clearing has kind of changed and evolved over over the kind of past five years, I think now we're in a position where there is lots of opportunity and variety through clearing. Um, and I think just to put that into perspective a little bit, last year alone. Um, I think there was around 30,000 courses available through Clearing. Um, so I think that demonstrates the, the amount in terms of scale, um, but then within that, that, it's the variety. So there's different types of institutions, different types of courses, different styles of learning as well, different types of, of kind of courses to do. And so there's a huge amount of variety in there. And I think the other important thing to, to, to bear in mind is that, again, going back to when, when kind of we were going through this, um, it was very, very different, but courses that weren't in clearing kind of 10 years ago are now in clearing. So if you're looking at particular kind of career pathways, um, things like nursing or, or allied health courses, those types of quite specific career routes, um, previously, you know, we may have felt that through clearing that the options were limited, whereas now those sorts of courses are in clearing and there's opportunities to still um, you know, secure your place on a pathway that's going to get you to that that kind of end destination and that idea, uh, like career perspective. So, um, yeah, there's lots of lots of opportunity and variety. Mm -hmm.